understand, like, in the jobs, people don't understand about um, Asperger's syndrome, and that's quite hard. There's some lovely people out there, but no one, they're not getting anywhere. Like, I know a couple, I opened a group a year ago, an Asperger group, all these people were couldn't get, were looking for jobs, but couldn't get one. But there's one boy in the group, if I go in there and say, oh, I got a job, he's always like, oh, I've stopped looking for work and stuff like that. And that makes me sad because there's people out there who can't be bothered to work and don't deserve to work. And then there's other people who really want to work, but they can't work. It does upset me. Like, I know a lot of people who just, you know, are depressed and stuff because of it. And it does pull you down, like, and going through the interviews, you know, you do get nervous like normal people. We are normal people, you know? But, you know, people don't understand us that much. Like, we are, that's why I want to get out there, is like, we are normal people. It just annoys me, like, the people can, like, put me in a category that I'm the same as it, like, the last person they had. They look at us like we're aliens, and that's not right. People will, like, bully you in some kind of way, you know? Unless you act like you haven't got anything and don't tell them anything, and then they'll just think you're weird anyway, but, you know, um, there's more people out there who should be on benefits more than me, you know what I mean? Like, people who are ill. When I started working, I didn't want to go to work, and then I thought to myself, I've been staying off work for two years. Why am I? Why am I going back to work now? Is scary, you know. I I I rather stay at home now, you know, because I'm used to being at home. But I tell you what, I'm the happiest person when I'm at work. <laughs> My mum was like a big help in that situation because I know a lot of people don't have people around them to help them, and you know that's quite sad. We found that a lot of jobs that she applied for, um, they would have a tick box whether you've got a disability or not and we did find that most of them where she ticked a box yes i got a disability she wouldn't get called back for an interview so there definitely is a pattern i mean i know she's mine but she's just fabulous i mean we try to keep very obviously positive with laura for laura's sake and not point out the obvious and she does let a lot go over her head but you know she she knows she's she's got a fantastic job and so many people out there haven't got jobs that she's doing incredible. You know, she's not only got a job, she's got two jobs. And she's doing great. It was two years of really hard work and not knowing where to go, not knowing who to turn to. I actually became ill. I didn't realise. Um, I actually went into hospital with, with severe tummy pains. Um, I was in there for a couple of days. Um, really thinking something seriously was wrong um, and it was all stress related all stress related because I've got my child here at home there was nothing out there no future looking for her um, she's isolated she's got nobody to speak to except for me and not trying to be selfish because you know every parent loves their child but everybody's child grows up and flies and has a future and I couldn't see a future for Laura. I didn't know what was going to happen, but I knew she was capable. And I just needed someone to give her that chance. It's, it's so hard for anybody coming out of school to get work, not just people with difficulties. It's hard to get a job. It really is. Um, and it is added complicated when you've got difficulties as well. And getting people to understand what these difficulties are. Laura with her Asperger's, will never, ever let you down. She will be there on time because it's not in her interest to be late because it will throw the rest of her day out. You know, she wouldn't go out the night before and think, oh, I'm going to turn up late for work tomorrow, I'm going to have a lie-in, because that would just ruin her day. Laura didn't do well in school. She didn't have the concentration and she has got the learning difficulties, but she has made the absolute best of what she can do. Sometimes... I get frustrated with Laura because she can come across quite childlike and immature and very needy. But when she comes home from being in work, if she's done a full stint all day in work and she comes home, 
I am talking to a young adult with no difficulties whatsoever and it's fabulous. And you know, and I, I, I remember saying to her once, this is the Laura I really enjoy being with because you know, we're having this conversation, you're turn taken correctly, she's still in work mode, 